Hello from ChemHelp ASAP. Let's talk about the humble beginnings of the regulatory agency known as the United States Food and Drug Administration. The FDA has not always been part of the United States government. Back in 1820, 11 physicians gathered in Washington, D.C. and established the United States Pharmacopoeia. This was not a government document or action, but it was an attempt to standardize recognized medications. It was not until 1862 that the government formed a Bureau of Chemistry, which was part of the Department of Agriculture. Approximately 20 years later, in 1883, Dr. Harvey Wiley became the head of the Bureau of Chemistry. Dr. Wiley is important because he pushed for changes that eventually led to the 1906 Pure Food and Drug Act, which was sometimes called the Wiley Act. This piece of legislation tried to address problems of adulteration and misbranding in both drugs and food. While we're getting close, the Food and Drug Administration had not been formed by this date of 1906. In 1927, the Bureau of Chemistry split. One branch was the Food, Drug, and Insecticide Administration. The other was a Bureau of Chemistry and Soils. So you can perhaps see some of the strain of housing both of these organizations under the umbrella of the Department of Agriculture. In 1930, the name Food and Drug Administration was officially adopted through dropping insecticide from the title. In 1933, the FDA recommended a complete revision of the Food and Drug Act of 1906. Unfortunately, no action was taken, and the elixir sulfonylamide tragedy occurred in 1937 because of a lack of safety testing. Of course, this event directly motivated U.S. legislators and led to the 1938 Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act which was the first legislation to give the federal government oversight over the pharmaceutical industry and empower the FDA as it is recognized today. I hope you now have a better understanding of the origin of the U.S. FDA, which formed largely out of a need for improved drug safety. Please consider subscribing, leaving a like, or making a comment. Take care.